Hello and welcome to this video on the IUPAC nomenclature of acid and hydrides. So we will first of all begin with understanding what are acid and hydrides. Now acid and hydrides are the result of two carboxylic acid molecules coming together and losing a molecule of water. Now this carboxylic acid and this carboxylic acid may be same or different. Essentially what happens is one of the carboxylic acid molecules loses the OH and the other one loses the H and this releases water and this carbon attaches to this oxygen. So the result is R C double bond O O C double bond O R prime and, I, and as I said in the beginning the R and the R prime may be same or different. This is called an acid anhydride. It is made up of two carboxylic acid groups. Now how do we name an acid anhydride? Well if the R and the R prime are same that is called a symmetrical anhydride. If the R and the R prime are same then all you have to figure out is to which acid does this part correspond to. Try to find out this particular acid or for that matter try to figure out what would be this acid called. So this is going to be alkanoic some particular alkanoic and if it is symmetrical you simply have to write alkanoic and instead of the word acid you write anhydride after a space. So this is alkanoic anhydride but if these are different if this part if the R and the R prime are different then you have to write both the alkanoics one after the other. One alkanoic space the other alkanoic space anhydride and which alkanoic should be first depends on the alphabetical order. So this is the way the basic naming of acid anhydrides exist in the IUPAC system. So the first point the acid anhydride functional group results when two carboxylic acids combine and lose water. Symmetrical acid anhydrides are named like carboxylic acids except the ending acid is replaced by the word anhydride. This is true for both IUPAC and the common nomenclature. So try and name this one. Pause the video, named the molecule and then play it back to check the answer. So try and find out to which acid does this correspond to. Remember there are two carbons in it and remember the naming of carboxylic acids. We used to call them as alkanoic acid. So this is going to be two carbons so this is going to be ethanoic and since it is symmetrical you do not have to write ethanoic twice. You simply have to say ethanoic anhydride. try and figure out the name of this one. Again you will notice it is symmetrical. So to which acid does this correspond to? Carbon 1, 2 and 3. There are 3 carbons in it. So this is going to be propanoic. So this is propanoic anhydride. And as I mentioned if it is unsymmetrical they are named by first naming each component carboxylic acid alphabetically arranged without the word acid followed by spaces then the word anhydride. So try figuring out the name of this one. Pause the video now, name it and check back the answer. Now on one side we have ethanoic, on this side we have propanoic. And obviously ethanoic comes before propanoic in alphabetical order. So this is 
एथेनोइक प्रोपेनोइक एनहाइड्राइड ट्राई दिस वन पॉज द वीडियो नाउ दिस इज एथेनोइक एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस वन was benzoic so this is going to be benzoic ethanoic anhydride let's try to get one more thing try name this one now one might wonder what do we do now it's a cyclic anhydride so first ask the question what would you call the corresponding acid from which this anhydride must have formed this is the acid from which it must have formed now what would you call this remember it's a ring and that too it's a benzene thing so that is a parent so it is benzene 1 2 dicarboxylic acid name it just like you would do a cyclic carboxylic acid and we have already done a video on that you can check that out how to name a cyclic carboxylic acid so this is benzene 1 2 dicarboxylic acid and this is the anhydride of that so you just remove the word acid and write anhydride so the name of this would be benzene 1 2 dicarboxylic anhydride Now there are a couple of anhydrides whose common name is accepted in the IUPAC system, and uh, these are the examples. For example, this one that we did, ethanoic ethanoic anhydride. Its common name is acetic anhydride. For example, this one. Now this is the anhydride formed. from this particular acid and this is called succinic acid that is the common name and the anhydride is succinic anhydride this one now this is named by knowing the corresponding acid that we are forming here this one and this one are the same now this particular acid has a common name it's called phthalic acid so this has a common name phthalic anhydride so you can either call it benzene 1 2 dicarboxylic acid or you can call it phthalic anhydride so these are the common names that are quite often used and accepted in the iupsc system so let's check out a couple of examples and then we might be able to understand the naming of anhydrides so i'm giving you a very complicated one actually it's not too complicated there are no double and uh, triple bonds on this so pause the video name this molecule and then play it back to check the answer now remember whenever you want to number each of the carboxylate part you must assume this is one this is one so for this part of the molecule this is one and for this part of the molecule this carboxyl carbon is one so let's number them on the other side so on the left side that is this part you see ethyl you see isopropyl you see methyl on the right side you have methyl methyl and two more methyl so there are only methyls here so obviously the name of the left part will start with ethyl and the name of the right part will start with methyl and obviously ethyl will win over on the alphabetical order so what is the left part Four ethyl, two isopropyl, five methyl heptanoic. 
and then followed by a space and then two three five five tetramethyl hexanoic anhydride four ethyl two isopropyl five methyl heptanoic and then there's a space two three five five tetramethyl hexanoic anhydride all right try naming one more pause now name it and then come back well we have the numbers 1 2 3 4 1 2 no substituents so the right part is big is going to be but and the left part is going to be pent so obviously but is going to come before so this is going to be but 2 n oic pent 4 n oic anhydride so but 2 n oic pent 4 n oic anhydride one more pause the video now so let's do the numbering 1234567891234567 we are going down because we need to have maximum number of multiple bonds uh we could have gone um, down here also but then it would be only doing 6 and 7 so the number of carbon atoms would have been less so we don't go down that path so which is going to come first well look at the substituents here the substituent is methyl here the substituent is ethylene or you can call it ethynyl and uh, then a few methyls so i think this is going to win over so this is going to be 5 ethynyl 4 6 7 trimethyl octa 2 8 dienoic space 5 methyl non 2 n 8 ienoic anhydride so it's 5 ethynyl 467 trimethyl octa 27 dienoic 5 methyl non 26 dien 8 ienoic anhydride and what happens when you have rings all right so what do you do with this how do you name this well just look at the acid part which what acid would this be remember cyclic acids that we did this is cyclohexane carboxylic acid and this is cyclopentane carboxylic acid so remove the acid part and just write the two names of the acids and in the end write anhydride so this is cyclohexane carboxylic cyclopentane carboxylic anhydride what about this one pause name it so this part the left part what would you call this this is cyclo hexa and remember this is now here this is one because we are numbering the ring 1 2 3 4 so cyclo hexa 2 4 nine dine carboxylic and then this part now what would you call this part now remember this part is also a part of the ring so this is going to be numbered like this 1 2 3 4 5 we're going to number it like this and this is going to be 2 ethyl 5 methyl cyclo penta uh, cyclopentane carboxylic anhydride so numbering is done like this numbering is done here like this so it is cyclo hexa 2 4 dine carboxylic 2 ethyl 5 methyl cyclopentane carboxylic anhydride 
So this is the way that we name acid anhydrides. And in this video, we have covered the linear chain ones as well as the ones with the ring. So I hope this video helps you in understanding how to name acid anhydrides. If you have any doubts, any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.